two years ago, we had a very beautiful field behind our house. I would chill in our tree and try to draw all the pretty flowers that were blooming. Then one day, out of nowhere, a bunch of construction workers came with their tools in this huge semi-truck. And I thought to myself, what are they going to do? Well, I soon figured out that they were going to be inserting pipes into the ground and building a huge fence. They were going to destroy this beautiful habitat that was filled with so much life. I would sit and watch it just because it made me feel so happy inside. You could see the sunset and sunrise. It makes my day every time I watch it. There were so many animals that called this amazing field of life their home. When they started to cut down the trees and pull up the grass, we started getting a bunch of different animals come into our yard. Some of these animals that came into our yard didn't live long, but some of them tried. These animals were trying to make our backyard their home, but they couldn't because we didn't have the resources that they needed to survive. When we don't think about how we're going to ruin habitats, we irritate many people badly because I feel like we should care about these animals and not just go and destroy their habitats without even thinking what will happen there to these poor creatures. I know, I know, I know, this isn't the construction worker's fault. It's their job to go and build. But we need to start thinking before we just go and destroy their habitats without even without even thinking what will happen to these poor creatures and cut down all the trees. Due to us ruining the food chains, our food webs are going to be messed up because the animals were moved to different habitats. Their numbers are going to reduce because they don't have the main food source. Some of these animals are being classified as 85% of the species in the ICUN's red list. The red list is a website that shows us endangered animals in our world. These, those species are being classified as threatened or endangered because we are ruining their habitats. There's actually a cycle that we call photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is where plants breathe in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. We depend on plants just like plants depend on this cycle keeps going round and round and round, and if we keep cutting down trees, the population will stop growing, but the oxygen supply will start decreasing slowly. That means we'll be in a lot of trouble. Fragmentation means a process or state of being broken into small or separate parts. We are using fragmentation by bulldozing fields. When we use fragmentation, we are losing resources, such as food and animal meat. Trees produce what is called glucose. Glucose is just sugar. The glucose that the trees produce helps keep our plants and animals alive. What I'm trying to get across is, if you think that we should stop cutting down trees and stop ruining all these animals' habitats, do something about it. Here's a challenge I'm going to give you. If you have time, you should stop by your local store and pick a seed to plant. This will help our ecosystem tremendously if you just plant a tree, a bush, or even just a flower. This will help our plants reproduce, and then we'll have a forest of different varieties of life, such as trees, flowers, bushes, and shrubs. And, their animals num and the animals' numbers won't just decrease because we are being selfish. People will begin to see these changes and will hopefully do the same thing that I'm trying to do to their community. My biggest goal for you is to make a difference in the world or be the difference. Whatever you do, just make sure you're doing something to help the earth. Whether it's from planting trees to a random act of kindness, how are you going to change the world? I'm Chloe Fry. Thank you for listening to my podcast.